story was Bob Dalton's girl was always writing him about how he had no ambition. Oh, you're nobody next to Jesse James, she'd say. Finally, the bastard took his brothers to Cofferville just to shut her up. Right. It's always the woman's fault. Well, the locals recognize the Daltons right off. Others paid dearly for their stupidity, but everybody knows they had it coming. There's more to it than that. I read all about that day, so I know for a fact that it went down very differently. First of all, it was high noon. A posse of U.S. Deputy Marshals were on the rooftop across the... Get ready, boys. They're gonna make a move. The lawmen had been tracking the Daltons for months, and now they finally had them dead to rights. Among them was a bounty hunter feared by many a lawbreaker. This man had no intention of letting the Dalton slip away. They met an adversary that day who had no fear and offered them no quarter. The marshals tried to get the Daltons to surrender. They'll give up eventually. We just gotta wait for something to get out. This bounty hunter knew that the brothers were far too proud to ever lay down their guns. He went in there alone to confront those criminals. But he paid him no mind. He saw a way to get around to the back of the bank. Then he figured out how to hit the Daltons from a direction they weren't expecting. From above. Fortunately, a water towel was right there. A 
moment later, he was climbing up a steep ladder, laughing at danger as he did. It was brave men like him who risked their lives to tame this wild country. couldn't or wouldn't to make this country free. Like Jim Bowie and Davy Crockett, who died defending the Alamo. Is that Silas Greaves? Son of a bitch! Silas Greaves, and when the dust finally settled, he was the last man standing. Sorry, kid, but that just wasn't the way it happened. It was early evening, not high noon. I was late to the party, and Coffeeville was already up in arms. Dalton's blew up a safe, and we're all set to hightail it out of there. Those pathetic deputies surrounding the bank were dropping like flies. I had been tracking those jokers for months, waiting for them to do something reckless. Boy, you are shit out of Finally, they did. Those stupid <gasps> bastards decided to rob two banks at the same time in the same town where everybody knew them. But they still had friends in Coffee Mill. Hey, shit around, Corey! Those 
friends came after me like a pack of wild dogs. Tooth and nail. They were coming at me from all directions. Caught sight of the Daltons running with the money and didn't want to lose them. Problem was, they knew the town better than. I found myself in the middle of another shootout entirely. Did Shoot the Daltons down. hole up in somebody's house? No, this. it was the uh, Smiths, I believe. I they they were cousins we of the Daltons. And they were shooting at the Browns, who were shooting at the Daltons. Which wasn't any surprise, because those two families have been feuding forever. And since the Joneses are related to the Browns, they shot at the Smiths, pissing off the Heimhoffers, whose daughter recently married a Smith. Well, bullets were flying every which way as all the old feuds in Kansas caught fire all at once. There was a hell of a lot of pissed off people in Coffeeville that day. But that's just the way life is sometimes. <laughs> Shit happens. Dalton boys knew I would never give up. Those Daltons weren't the sharpest knives in the drawer, but they always stood together. They set a trap to slow me down and allow at least two of them to escape. The third brother stayed behind to plant me, just in case that trap of theirs didn't work. to protect his brothers. I understood how it felt. Taking me on all by his lonesome wasn't exactly a recipe for a long life. Emmett Dalton survived the robbery in Coffeeville. He's the only Dalton who did. They say he was shot 23 times. 
Well, Dwight, who do you think put all those damn holes in him? But I have to admit, that boy had grit. Dalton's down. They can't get away with this! And in that time, a whole posse of local vigilantes offered to lend a hand. We'll track him to the ends of the earth. They seemed as determined as me to find those outlaws. But as we headed into those swamps, it was like I had my own private army. There was no way those boys were getting away this time. It was early fall, right? Beautiful time of year. At least you had the weather on your side. Not by my recollection. It was damp and foggy as hell. It was tough to stay on a true course. So we kept an eye out for landmarks. It was autumn. The maple trees were in full color, red as blood. The rains that year were torrential, so the whole area was flooded. The vigilantes had spread out wide, and pretty soon I couldn't see anybody. Except for some some bitch ahead of me wanted to do me harm. So I had to face him alone. I wondered why my compatriots didn't come running when they heard the shots. So did you find the Daltons? Not yet. But I did have the questionable pleasure of meeting a few of their friends. Feel you 
Boys had established quite a reputation by that time, so they attracted all manner of riffraff to their cause. Reinforcements was nowhere to be seen. Point B and I was under serious attack. Somebody get no! I scrambled up top to get a better view.
but just ended up falling inside. So, how did you get out? The barn doors was open. About right then, I saw some suspicious characters running through the bushes. Of course, I followed them. But that goddamn swamp was like a goddamn maze, and pretty soon I had no goddamn idea where I was. Steve? So I just started walking, and pretty soon I... Oh. Steve? Steve? Uh, huh? Oh, uh, no, 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 I'm listening. Indians surrounded me from all sides. Angels? They were Indians? No. I just wanted to make sure Steve was paying attention. Now, where was I? You were following the Daltons through a swamp? That's right. See, Steve? Dwight's paying attention. No, oh, I'm listening. I, I, I was just uh, resting my eyes. So, where was I? The Daltons. Right. And so many outlaw gangs are made up of brothers. Being a brother is a very sacred thing. It's a bond like no other. Not yet, but I did find a few of their cousins. Kansans breed like rabbits. Or Smiths or Heimhoffers or who knows what. Bounty hunters! Stop that son of a bitch! But hell, what's more important than family? I bet Ben knows what I'm talking about.
this! Boys were out there somewhere, standing together against anyone who would threaten them. <laughs> 